What's going on everybody, The Ultimate here, and today I'm going to be doing a Max Transcendence and Kaizen Showcase, more specifically, the hard one. For single player IZ, I'm going to be using this build. Pill, T set, and Zeta Pill for hidden enemies. And as for Lynx, Mugetsu and Nuri are Max Transcended, while Nell is just there because she is a great link for our hard characters. Unfortunately, this Aizen does not have Frenzy on his skills, which means he is missing a lot of damage, but even then, he is still putting up quite a bit of damage. His medic skill allows him to heal allies more, which makes for a great support unit. He has weakened on all his skills except for the healing. One annoying thing about him is his first strong attack. His self moving vortex is painstakingly slow and it doesn't have much AoE around him. His second has a slightly more range than the first and his third, even though it's not a full screen, has a relatively big range. For soloing co-op IZ, I changed the Nell link for a max transcended Toshiro link so he can output more damage. Surprisingly, he does extremely well soloing co-op IZ. With this build, he takes out the enemies pretty fast. He is definitely an old unit, but he does put in the work. I know I'm doing this showcase with this specific hard Senkaisen, but since there are 4 other Senkaisen with the same exact kit, but with different attributes, you can build them in the same way and they will do more or less the same damage.
絶望する。It does suck that even though he is max transcended with 3 max transcended links, he couldn't nuke the last room completely, so maybe if you're running with him, I will probably suggest getting a tension tie if you're the host. 3 minutes and 35 seconds is a really good time for a unit this old to solo co-op IZ. I could imagine running with a team, these runs will be 2 minutes at most. The Espada Guild Quest is where the Senkaisens bring out their maximum potential. Once they are max transcended, they can make it really easy to clear. His ulti will nuke the first 4 waves easily, and then your support units can take care of the last 2 waves. However, this skill quest is still very RNG heavy. To get a fast time, you need to proc the weaken on that final wave quite a bit. The mobs can be dealt with easily, but the annoying part is Okiura and him just spamming first strong attack like there's no tomorrow. Unfortunately, I don't have the speed Senkaisen max transcendent since he would be the best Senkaisen to use in this situation. I tried to solo epic raid with him but unfortunately he doesn't have enough damage and he is really slow due to his first strong attack. Overall not only is Senkaisen the best link in the game but when I max transcendent he is a good unit to have for the Espada guild quest. The best thing is he is free to get at the Senkaimon shop every month. For old players and even new players I would recommend getting every Senkaisen maxed out. Not only will you have an OP link for all the strong attack damage characters but you will also have an easier time clearing a spot a week if you don't have some of the new units for it. That's it for me everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a wonderful day. Peace.